So we got Jake here and his first gen, and he's gonna be telling us a little bit about it because this thing is super sweet, as you can tell, and I already know it's a ripper. So yeah, man, uh, what year is this thing? Uh, this is a 92 D350. You know, obviously it came stocked with the VE and it had a get rag 360, I think is what it's called. And uh, when I bought it, it had the MV4500 and it still had the VE. And then I found a good deal on a P pump, so I bought that for like 500 bucks. And I was planning on putting that in it and then, you know, just building the stock motor. But then one thing led to another, got a good deal on an engine. And I was gonna, you know, put a clutch in it and run the MV56 or 40, 4500 with just stock turbo and P pump and everything. And then like, well, Chris gave me this turbo. <laughs> and so I was like, I'll do compounds. And then I got a good deal on a 48, so I, did, I built 48 and full manual valve body and all that. And so it's, it just kind of evolved into something that I wasn't really planning on. It took a lot longer, a lot more money than I was expecting, but it's it's like 75, 80% done now. You know, it's kind of dusty and stuff. It's sitting Man, for the week, but. It still looks really nice though. I love just kind of the rawness and yeah, kind of that you. industrial look it's got going on. Yeah. Um, so it's uh, what size are the injectors and what size are the turbos? It's got flux five by thirteens. Um, you know they're not super big into the mechanical world. They normally stick to the common rail side of things, and they, they do a lot of Duramax stuff too. But uh, so flux five by thirteens. This is a HE three fifty one that I built with a billet wheel that was on the truck about two years ago, and it had a hood stack with no hood <laughs> and uh, drove that for a while until I could build a downpipe but so I've had that thing for a while and it, Chris gave it to me it was just in a box of broken HE351 so I just pieced something together and then this is Chris's old turbo 472 back from when it had that white hood on it <laughs> back to the old and dually days white, and it had two big 472s sticking out of the hood this is one of those the other ones sitting on my toolbox over there but sweet and simple nothing nothing crazy stock 215 pump you know i mean i have fuel plate and a couple other things got a fast 240 on it built freeze plugs there's really nothing done to the bottom end it's it's pretty much stock bottom end um just all fresh bearings fresh everything down there stock cam stock tappets hamilton valve springs hamilton push rods um it's got exotic stud, studs, which we haven't, we've never messed with those. So we don't, you know, some people love them. Some people hate them. Everybody has a different opinion. It's really not a big deal to me. You know, if I have to change a head on it, I'll put a new head gasket and do 625s. It's it's not that too big deal. They're, they're O-ring, so I'm hoping that that helps the exotics live a little bit longer than most people expect them to. It's got a uh, far from stock intercooler in it. Nice. I see that which took some Jamie in to get right, but we got it right finally. Um, what kind of horsepower, if you had to guess, and how much timing as well, do you know? Uh, it's only set at 20 degrees right now. I initially had it at like I don't know, 27 or 28 or something like that, and I was like, well, you know what, maybe we just make <laughs> sure it runs first, and so I backed it back down to 20 just to make things easier. But I definitely plan on turning that up some more. Um, as it sits, I probably wouldn't guess more than 700, probably. Yeah. Seven, seven, 750, maybe. But, I mean, my end goal for this thing is, is like eight, maybe 900. Nothing crazy, you know? Like, really, the, the engine, the way it is, the only thing I want to change is get rid of the hood stack. I just did that because it was quick and easy and, and simple. But I want a full down pipe. I want to do a lot of stuff to the interior, you know? I just want to clean it up. I want to put this on a... Uh, third gen frame hopefully third gen two wheel drive frame airbags that whole thing the engine and transmission i want to kind of stay the same you know i may go to like 475 364 or something like that i don't 363 something like that i don't know yet i don't know how big how much bigger don wants to make make those injectors so we'll <laughs> just we'll just have to see if it, if he'll knock them out bigger then i'll go to bigger turbos but if not then i'm not gonna worry about it
got it. It's Very still nice. messed. Oh, dude, and, it's, it's all mean, part of it. I'm going to warn you right now. It's not going to be the smoothest driving. I mean, this truck's 30 years old. So. Dude, this is an old first gen with compounds and a full manual valve body. If it was super smooth, I, I don't think it'd be right. We'll see what happens. this more like the perfect daily driver not so much race truck which i mean it's hard to say that <laughs> when you drive a first you know driving a first gen with thong pounds and full manual but yeah. yeah i mean it seems so smooth it seems like you could tow with this thing with that setup pretty easily yeah yeah i mean it's it's definitely a good towing setup yeah i love this thing man old first gen got the carpet on the dash coming servo diesel this is sweet man I do need to adjust the cable. Oh, okay. So it, it's not perfect yet. I um it was tough driving the Christmas truck, honestly. Like yeah. I was like it's hard the first time. I was sure. like, what the say though one thing I'm loving about this thing is it just has all the turbo sounds yeah. like you don't even hear the exhaust it's literally just whistle yeah Appreciate you letting me uh, go along for yeah. a ride for a little rip. Yeah, no, hopefully next time I see you, it's going to be uh, a little bit more refined and faster, maybe. Well, awesome, man. I appreciate it. Yeah, no problem, man. I appreciate Boom. you. Guys, this is Jake. This is his first gen. It is a ripper, very well built. Y'all make sure to go give him a follow at his Instagram name right here. And uh, yeah, there should be. I imagine this truck is not done, so we should be seeing some more, some more stuff out of it here soon. So anyway, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe. We'll catch you next. Peace.